Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. I want to show you kind of an update. This is going to be a no thrills video. I'm just going to get to the point. I want to show you guys where we're at on moving the shop. So there we go. The second machine is now in the basement. Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. I want to show you kind of an update. This is going to be a no thrills video. I'm just going to get to the point. I want to show you guys where we're at on moving the shop. I apologize up front that I haven't gotten out any other videos. As you can understand, moving the shop is a lot of work. And with that work, it takes up a lot of time. So I want to apologize. I hope to get out the next video of the Ultimate Metrology Center out this week. Cross my fingers, pray for me guys, we've got a lot going on. But I gotta say the move has been very, very successful. I've been very happy with the progress of it. Um, my brother Terry actually came down to help move, so that was a great uh, benefit to me. But now let me take you down and give you an introduction to the shop for the very, very first time. Like I said, it's going to be in the basement. Now, one of the things I'm really surprised by is how much room I'm going to actually have down here. I've got about 800 square feet. My original shop that you guys know me from was about 1,500 square feet. But everything is going to fit here really, really well. It shows me that in 1,500 square feet, I had a lot of open space and a lot of wasted space. Some of the challenges here is I don't have any electricity, or I should say very minimal electricity, so I've got to wire this whole place up. And I also um, had to add a wall or two in this space. So this basement was completely open. The only thing interrupting the space was the staircase that we just came down and the heating and cooling system. Well, what I've done is, you can see behind me, we've put in this wall, and this area here is all going to be shop space. And, of course, behind me, and it comes out to, like I said, about 800 square feet. The wall is going to be um, kind of one of the key components. You think of walls as taking up space, but it's actually, I found out, it's giving me space. Back here, we have a couple support columns, and they actually weren't needed uh, when the house was remodeled. There's the island upstairs in the kitchen that you just saw, so we're directly below that. The beams were put in just to help support the weight of the island, but now what I'm going to do is segregate off this area on this side, put in a complete wall, maybe a door, I'm not sure, and back in this corner is going to, of course, be my grinding room. You guys know I love having grinding rooms. It just keeps everything cleaner. In this corner here, because of the wall, I'm going to be able to put my bridge port. I'm going to put the lathe here. I'm only bringing one lathe down here because of the difficulties. Over here in this corner, will end up being some of the uh, post grinders. This area here is going to end up being welders. Back here will be metrology and areas, just large areas that I can work. But this area here, I don't know if I can get this to look right. There's a beam across here and across right here. And what that beam's going to do is I'm going to segregate this off with a curtain for when I'm doing any welding or grinding. Back here, we put, oh, great monster lighting. Um, <laughs> kind of got that lighting from the bottom, yeah. And outside here, I have a concrete pad. Um, I had it poured just for this project. It's kind of, I call it my loading dock. It's a 12 by 12. 
Behind me, you can see a couple wood rails. This is where we brought down most of the equipment, but we also, if you've been watching me on Instagram or Facebook, we brought um, a trailer around here with the uh, Land Rover and brought the really heavy equipment right up here and dropped it. Now, some of the challenges here in Georgia is we have a lot of clay and this time of year, a lot of rain. So we use the Land Rover because the Land Rover has a winch on it and I had to use the winch several times to get it out. But it is kind of fun, it's kind of exciting. Um, there's a lot going on right now, like I said. This is just kind of a quick update so you guys can see what's going on. I know a lot of you have been really interested, you know, in what's the new basement gonna look like. And I gotta say, I'm really, really excited about this. If I would have known how good this basement would have worked out, I would have got rid of that commercial space long ago. And the original goal of that space was I was only going to have it. The goal was to have it for a year and start building a shop here on this property. And then at two years, which is right now, was to move into the new shop. Well, life changes everything. Things are always going up and down for us. As you guys know, we move every couple of years. We thought we'd be in Atlanta for a good five to eight years, which would have justified me building a shop here. Well, it looks like we're gonna be moving out of Atlanta. Don't ask me where we're moving. We just know that we will be moving, or really a good possibility. Someday I'll try to explain it all to you. My wife and I have a very unique lifestyle. We're constantly on the go, and we have a lifestyle we designed to be that way, so it's kind of fun and exciting. But I really love this new basement. Some of the great things is, is the windows, you know, how do I want to say it? Actually, I'm surprised right now. We have a lot of wildlife here and I'll be able to look out here and there'll be times that I can see eight, to eight, maybe even as many as 15 deer at a time. So it's kind of, it's kind of nice. So I've got some window light here, which I'm going to definitely try to take advantage of. Um, I'm going to have more different storage back here. Let me take you to this one area. Is we box this all in? Actually, let's see if I get some light going. So this area is all boxed in. This area is all storage back here, and I'll actually have um, bookcases like this here was actually in the old shop. We're going to keep the bookcases here. I'm going to use this for storage. So that's that's going to be great fun. Um, always need storage. So there you guys go. You know, this is just kind of a quick update. It's a very crude video. A lot, you know, I thought it was more important to get a video out for you guys so you could see what's going on here and all that good stuff. All right, you guys, give me some thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, leave any of your comments. Love to hear from you. Also, check me out on Instagram and Facebook to kind of get more updates. I'm trying to get videos out consistently, but you guys know trying to get the shop built is the priority right now. All right, now go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.